May I now invite Mr. Prashant Saha to deliver the welcome address. Uh, good morning, everyone. Good to see our cheerful faces. Thank you, my distinguished uh, guest here, Honorable Sri Ramesh Kumarji, Minister of Health, Family Welfare, Government of Karnataka, uh, Professor Ravi Ramamurthy, distinguished professor uh, and founding director of the Center for Emerging Market, uh, Dr. Maria Todd, uh, Dr. Hema Devakar, and uh, of course, uh, the Secretary uh, Tourism and the Secretary, uh, Principal Secretary Health. Uh, this was the dream which was so last year. We started with this very humble beginning to bring focus into Karnataka and to explore its potential uh, for medical tourism. Needless to mention that medical tourism is growing exponentially uh, sector in India with estimated annual growth of almost 30%. A medical treatment cost in the developing world alone, with the United States and Europe taking the lead, more and more Westerners are finding it interesting and also economical to travel international countries for medical care. And India is also the front runner on this area. The number is estimated as almost 150,000 overseas tourists, those who visit India, uh, for uh, treatment of multiple treatments and cost-effective healthcare that is an offer that India provides. Advantages of medical treatment in India include reduced cost, availability of the latest medical technologies, and the growing compliances on the international quality standards. Needless to mention, the language plays a major barrier in when people are traveling. And India being uh, widely spoken in English, we have this advantage for, for attracting this tourist. The government of India and government of Karnataka, sure, is taking great step to address these infrastructure issues in India and to, to ensure that country is able to keep pace uh, with this demand that is offered to us. Treatment costs in India are almost one-tenth of the price comparable when you compare it with US or UK. Uh, needless to mention that NHS did declare there are almost one million patients are waitlisted in UK alone um, in terms of those who are uh, looking for uh, their uh, dates. So that's, that's an opportunity for India. Of course, we need to answer issues like uh, EU issues, insurance, all those. But having said that, the most popular treatments sought in India by medical tourists are alternative medicine, bone marrow transplant, cardiac bypass, surgery, eye surgery, hip replacement, and of course, whole lot of cosmetic surgery. This Congress of eminent speaker will address the challenges in the healthcare tourism. It is our frivolous step to hope that each one of you will utilize these immense opportunities as this Congress provides to revolutionize your business and in turn, our economy. This two days conference will witness the keynote address by Professor Ramurthy on delivering world-class healthcare affordability. Dr. Maria Todd, who has spent past 34 years working in one role or the other in the business of health and wellness tourism, will be organizing workshop for healthcare ambassadors, consultant, medical tourism facilitator later today. So we are sure that you will enjoy the hospitality of Bangalore and of India and the climate which is famous for Bangalore. Thank you so much. Enjoy the conference.